A major investment to update RIT Semiconductor Lab. Two million dollars in funding for the university's College of Engineering was recently acquired with the support of Congressman Joe Morelli and Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. Natalie Kuchko is in the studio to explain how this will boost local efforts in an already booming industry. Natalie. Yeah, the lab itself was created in the mid 80s. College officials say it was among the first of its kind nationwide. With this investment, the core of the lab will be getting an upgrade to further enhance RIT's curriculum. Another step toward the future of microelectronics as RIT receives $2 million in funding to help meet the expanding workforce and training needs in Rochester and beyond. Enables us to, to make a leap and uh, keep the lab at the cutting edge. This is an older facility and uh, over the years we uh, continually uh, work on upgrades but uh, the equipment and the infrastructure in a clean room is extremely expensive and it is so hard to find resources within the university to create those updates uh, every few years and so this money is is really helpful in that regard. The money will bring significant improvements to what's called the clean room. Congressman Joe Morelli says the initiative has been in the works for some time. By making these federal investments in research and innovation we're taking concrete steps to advance our region's semiconductor industry, which will create jobs, strengthen our economy, enhance our global competitiveness with countries like China, and add to our national security. RIT has already graduated 1,000 students with specialized training in microelectronics. The funding is said to graduate thousands more. This is going to help us achieve uh, the ability to educate more and more students, and we're expecting more and more jobs, especially with the Chips and Science Act. College leaders anticipate all needed upgrades would be completed within a year to a year and a half once that funding arrives to them.